Welcome to my INS uh, Inertial Navigation System tutorial, which I um, will be doing right now, and hopefully this will help you in uh, using the uh, Inertial Navigation System. So, we start in the uh, cockpit, and uh, first thing we need is the um, so-called Mode Selector Units, or short MSU. Um, we got. Uh, I got three uh, INS sys, um, INS computers installed on this aircraft, so we got uh, three uh, MSUs. But uh, for this flight, I'm just using two uh, of the uh, INS computers, so we just need these two units. You can see um, the uh, switches have um, five positions: off, standby, align, nav, and ATT. I'm going to explain them later in the flight. So for now we just want to turn on our uh, INS system, therefore we uh, put the switches uh, of uh, the MSUs, the mode selector units, to uh, standby. And by doing that we just activated our uh, inertial navigation system, which uh, should now display some digits up here. And well, we get these are the so-called CDUs, Control Display Units, and this is our first one. This is our second one, and you get a, a a knob here with which you can select some positions for the for the um, working mode of the INS. And so we first want to enter our current position where we are at the moment, so that the uh, system got a reference to navigate from. So. Uh, First, we put the um, the knob here to the uh, POS position, and now we got some some zeros up here, and that's where our current position goes. So uh, to enter our current position, we first need to know where we are, and that we can simply press Shift uh, Z on the uh, flight simulator, and our position will be displayed on the upper left corner. So it's it's uh, north fifty three one eight two seven and west one one three three four nine four. So uh, we gotta enter that into the INS. So we just put push um, N. Uh, we we first want to enter the uh, latitude position. So we push uh, the uh, number two key because it's also the north the key for north. Um, because there's a small N on the key, so we just press that one. And by pressing that one, uh, the insert button will illuminate, which means that we are now inserting a coordinate. And now just insert the uh, coordinate like it is written up here. So north 53182. And we got it in here now 53182. And now press insert. And now we uh, do the same with the uh, latitude coordinates, which is west 113394. Uh, so um, west is to the left, so same applies for the keyboard. West is on the left side of the keyboard, the number 4 key. So press west and you'll see the uh, W up here. And now just enter the uh, coordinate 113349er. Okay, now we get uh, the latitude and longitude coordinate and now just press insert and the coordinate is in the system. And we gotta do that process with all INS units we got installed. So uh, I'll also do that now for this unit, North five three one eight two. Insert West one one three three four nine. -er. Insert and we got it in here. In here, now you maybe not have noticed that the red warning light comes on here. That's some um, internal. Um, error of the uh, unit which is referring more to the flight simulator than to any uh, real system simulation so we just can um, ignore this warning and just um, clean it by uh, pressing the test button twice yeah so we got now our uh, current position <coughs> sorry we got now our current position entered into the uh, INS system and now we have to uh, calibrate it to this position, we have to align it. So uh, we go again to the uh, mode selector units, but before that, we gotta check that, and that's really uh, mandatory for the flight simulator because otherwise it won't work. 
um, that all engines are off. So here, all my engines are off, because if they were on, um, you may know that from the uh, flight simulator, uh, the aircraft keeps moving forward very slowly, but it it moves forward a bit, and during the alignment process, no aircraft movement is allowed. So uh, yeah, be sure that the engines are off, and well, now go to the uh, CDUs, uh, MSUs. I'm sorry, and then just. Uh, pull out the button uh, or the knob and turn it to align and by that you uh, have started the alignment process of the uh, inertial navigation system now if we take a closer look to the uh, inertial navigation system we can uh, move the uh, selector knob on the uh, CDU to the most right position which is called DSRTK slash STS don't ask me what that stands for and on the um, the main thing on this page um, is that there's the uh, so-called PI displays on um, the uh, performance index which you see on the uh, right upper corner here so this performance index or I would more call it pre precision index because it's indicating uh, how precisely your uh, INS will work so on the right side you see the um, required PI um, number and on the left side the uh, curl, uh, current number. So um, if uh, the lower the, the uh, PI index is, the uh, more precisely the aircraft will uh, keep on course. So um, and we got at least have to have the index at uh, a value of 5 and uh, currently it's at 9. So during the alignment now uh, the uh, PI index will decrease to 0 so on the left side um, you should have a zero at the end of the alignment and well yeah on the right side you have the uh, required index so this is just to display how um, how good the uh, unit works at the moment because um, with time the unit gets uh, a bit more and more uh, off from the course so you always have to try to keep your uh, PI index as low as possible but I'll explain in the flight how you can uh, decrease the uh, actual PI index. Well, I hope it's not too complicated. Um, I hope I'm not talking too fast. Well, anyway, um, I see now it's decreasing already. And yeah, now we can enter our waypoints.